Mm-hmm. Mozart wrote, Mozart, Beethoven, all of these people wrote violin sonatas uh, with a piano accompaniment, which was so beautiful and difficult. A sonata is in a composition written for one solo instrument. One solo instrument. If it's a violin or a viola or a cello or something that sounds a little empty without anything else, it has a piano accompaniment as support. What are you going to play? Sousaphone song. Sousaphone song. Okay. everybody else teaches but I introduced the keyboard and the piano. I write music for my beginners. I don't depend on books that I buy and I take them on printed books only after three months by which time they can read and they understand a minimum amount of the keyboard. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I, I got you. Point it? Here. Yeah, that's right. Good. This piece is a kind of exploration through sound, a kind of search for tone in a completely different way than you'd hear in any other composer, or any other era of music. And that's why I love this piece so much, because of its unconventional take on the very roots and nature of what music is and what music should be like. This particular piece that Arnie played is something I've never taught anyone else because I felt that Arani, it would be suited to him, he would understand it. He usually approaches everything with, from an academic point of view. And uh, that's very interesting and clever. Let's take it from the... The, uh, the second place, I don't subscribe to the idea of examinations because unless you want your child to be an examination student rather than a musician. There was a Chopin on the syllabus and I couldn't understand why there was something so mature and something that needed so much mature interpretation. It was a not a very complicated uh, waltz but in, in uh, interpretation it was complicated and I realized that this six year old boy had not had enough life experiences to express that. When you play music, so much depends on attention to detail, on sensitivity, on commitment, and children who learn music also are more focused. born with a dislocated right arm so my right side was quite useless I could not use my fingers and 
they, when I was six, they decided to give me some electric shock treatment and therapy, which included pulling weights and activating my right hand. And the doctor said, I used to play the piano with my left hand from the time I was four. But, uh, and I had to despair because everyone played the piano at home and everyone could use their right hand, uh, right arm, but I could not. I couldn't do anything, but my left, left was pretty good. So the doctor said, why don't you teach her to play the piano? And my mother took it very seriously and she, she had to, you know, force me to think into my finger, she'd say, concentrate on that finger. I will give you, I will give you a chocolate. I will give you marshmallows. <laughs> you know, I was very fond of marshmallows. And then if I gave, moved the finger, it took a long time. It took about six months to move with the electric treatment which activated the nerves and uh, within two years I was using my fingers and I began to play the piano very well. I accompanied my mother and that was wonderful. Everyone knows that you can play well. I think food and music go well together. Yeah. And as she said, any art form and food goes well together. We've we've always gone juniors first, I think. So I think random would be better. Random, yeah, random is it would be more yeah. interesting. Yeah. People ask me, it takes so long to teach them. How is it you keep their interest going? You keep their interest going because you talk about music, you discuss music, you play play to them and they they like them. they're not made to do examination and learn boring things so and then they have concerts so I don't have examinations but I have frequent um, house concerts and I invite parents and I invite people from outside to come and listen to them and and then everyone mingles and has a lot of food to eat and uh, they they enjoy it. I don't play much anymore. <laughs> but um, I like Scala tea. Today, as I get older, I prefer older music. I love Scala tea. 